itself a anti swing bar as you can see and connects these two rear suspension arms and when I take it off the lift you can see what it does so if I'm gonna we can one spring and uh, over here it's not quite going down if I bring it back up it goes back up and I'm gonna show you why so I'm gonna place my lift down like this and uh, what you're gonna see is when I lower this one up and both and both and both wheels go up that happens because it, there's a swing swing arm or something what do we call it it stops it stops it from mo moving independently but if I go over here and I'm gonna build a swing arm you'll see why As you can see, these uh, suspension arms uh, con compress together because of these two suspension pieces over here. Depending on the setting that you put these suspension springs at, they will become stiffer or weaker. Stiffer is ideally uh, something for drifting or on-road cars and something softer would be something for off-road cars. This is useful for when you want to turn, but you don't want to roll over. As you can see, the, without a swing bar, the vehicle likes to tilt a little bit more than it should. And with the, and with the swing bar, it doesn't tilt as much, and it allows it to slide instead of tilt. So, I hope you learned something, and uh, I hope mm, I hope you will use this for your creations. And this is where I'm gonna have to end the video. Goodbye.